What's up, fellow coll collectors? Welcome back to the MIB Master Toy Museum. I'll be your curator today. Guys, we have another fantastic Vampirella offering for you today. Here on a Saturday night in the museum, we venture down the road of the strange and the macabre with Vampirella. All the way from 1973, issue number 28. This is a beautiful book. Guys, we, we've been a little bit without Vampirella. Uh, a lot of our subscribers have been asking for uh, when, when, uh, when will we bring out another episode, another video of Vampirella. Well, guys, the wait is over. The beautiful Vampirus is on another journey, like we said, of the strange and the macabre. Here we have Vampirella and the curse of the Macadamians. Macadamians. The artwork work of Jose Gonzalez is just breathtaking. Absolutely stunning. Um, Jose Gonzalez is one of my favorite artists uh, that really works on the Vampirella horror comic magazines, if you will. As you saw on the front cover that we, we have some stories within the, the book that are colorized. I've always been a fan of these beautiful um, black and white books. For me, it allows more detail to the artwork itself. Looking at a book, guys, from 1973. It smells like 1973 as well. It's got that old comic book smell to it, guys. The kind of uh, comic book smell that brings back and ushers back in memories from a long time ago. See Vampirella here in, in the storyline. She always seems to find her way into some of the most dangerous, uh, just crazy type situations. And if it weren't for the fact that she was extremely powerful. Vampirella would have been destroyed a long time ago. I mean, I think that's what makes these Vampirella horror comic magazines uh, so irresistible. Um, uh, Vampy's uh, beauty and the fact that she's just just fragile enough to make these stories believable and what I mean by that is that she's she's they they've built in a situation with Vampirella where it gives her that human quality where it makes her vulnerable to these situations these deadly situations just enough to make it believable. Because you can't have Vampirella just destroying everybody. But with her power, as you can see, Pendergrass is in trouble here. With her power, she's able to handle herself quite nicely. As she's stating here, I sense evil, something beyond and above a mere mugging. 
for profit and sadistic pleasure. It's something elemental, life-loathing, cosmi cosmically vile. She's able to take care of one, but she doesn't see this guy. That's some of the words that were used to show uh, aggression back in the 1970s. Guys, what do you think of our Vampirella issue number 28? All the way from 1978. 73, I'm sorry. All the way from 1973. Do you remember these books? What's your thoughts on these books? Vampirella is a huge hit here at our museum. Um, our comic book uh, subscribers absolutely love them. Our action figures subscribers absolutely love them. We started this about maybe two years ago, and Vampirella has just been a hit. Uh, feel free, guys, to pause, because we like to go panel for panel. Feel free to pause your your video. If you want to read the book, I've have, we have a ton of subscribers that read the Vampirella books through our videos by simply pausing and reading the wording. And that's how they follow along with the storyline. But nothing beats, uh, for me, a, a nice hot cup of coffee, freshly brewed coffee. My house is quiet. Kids are asleep. Wife is asleep. And I can take a step back into time through these books a sacrifice is being made here Just reaching out at him. Once again, I like I can't say enough about these fantastic panels of art. Um, pure genius. Um, the plots, the storylines, editing, editing everything. Beautifully done. This is like a time capsule, guys. You're looking at a book from 1973 that's in fantastic condition. We get our, our Vampirella books. I've only gotten my Vampirella books uh, from one source, and that's Anthony's Comics. Uh, those guys are, are located in New Jersey. They have an eBay uh, site, store, if you will. And that's where we get our books from because they, they take fantastic care of these books. And like my action figures, I love my comic books, and my horror comic magazines to be in fantastic museum quality condition. This was a 7.0 on a grading scale, a comic grading scale. It, it got a, I believe that's a very fine uh, status. It was a 7.0. So uh, I, I won't do anything lower than a 6.0 on my uh, horror comic magazines because these, these are big books. They're not your standard uh, smaller comic books. But for all my books, for the most part, for my, these or comic magazines. I won't go any lower than 6.0. This. 
a werewolf there, some type of creature. Next issue. That's another cool thing about these books. You were able to finish the story. Another cool thing is uh, Vampy. She was the host. She was the star of her own, her own story, but with the, the six or seven other stories inside this book, um, she was also the hostess, which I found very cool, very alluring. And this is the clash, the clash of the Leviathans. Ramon Torrance was the art artist on this. He's taking us back to the Jurassic Age, if you will. Just breathtaking, guys. Um, for me, this is what comic books, this is what comic book art, um, storytelling was all about. It was something magical about the 1970s, the, the late 1960s and the 1970s uh, with these horror comic classic magazines. It was just something magical about them. Something just perfect. Guys fighting a like a T-Rex. Like he's losing. I could do this. I could do this all, all day. And like I said, this is how I relax in my museum. Is with these beautiful books. The reading, the artwork, studying these books. Like I said, we crack our books open here. Here at the museum, uh, I know a lot of uh, comic book collectors really pass out and cringe when they see this because they don't. I know a lot of uh, YouTubers that have uh, comic book collections. They don't believe in opening their books, and that's fine because you know I'm just the, rever the, the reverse with my action figures. So I get it. I I completely understand it. But uh, my comic books, I, I enjoy reading them. And even though I make sure that they're highly graded, um, condition-wise, museum quality material, I still enjoy reading them. I don't handle them that much, though, that often. No. When I read a book, I might read it once every two or three months. I might check it out so I don't read it a lot I don't I don't handle my books a lot he's about to he's blind it's like he's about to hit somebody this kid here Fantastic.
fantastic, guys. Just absolutely fantastic. Like I said, the storylines, everything. This is what I'll do. I'll, I'll, I'll shoot this video. And I'm seeing... I'm seeing stories in here that I know I have to go back and literally just finish immediately after shooting this video. And that's I've done that on numerous occasions uh, with my Vampirella uh, books because they're brand new. So when I'm I'm cracking these guys open for the first time, these these books open for the first time, I'm sharing them with you for the very first time. So I'm I'm seeing what you're seeing. You know, I never read the, my books before I do the video. You know, so I never do that. I try to see we got some color here. The power and the glory. That's the name of this this particular story. So I but I, I enjoy sharing this moment with you guys. And these books are so big, there's so many pages to them. You know, I try to get as much as much of these uh, panels for you as I possibly can. And some some of these stories are so entrancing. I mean, that you you really can be pulled into the world, into this world very easily, especially if you have an imagination. And I think that's the cool thing about comic books. It allowed you to apply your imagination. Like I said, you could be in different worlds, different parts of the planet, different time periods. Just by opening up a comic book. And the horror comics magazines were always my favorites. He's killing her. I always like the fact that there's always some horrific or or, or uh, some type of supernatural justice that's always being served at the very end of these horror stories, as you can see. So he drowned her, and this is what happens here. Crazy. Great point, Vampy. Once again, the artwork is from Ramon Torrance, and the story name is I Don't Want to Die. Fantastic storylines. I want to get through this entire book, guys. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it, but... Check Anthony's comics out on eBay. So Anthony's comics. 
He has a ton of beautiful comic books. You name it, he has it. We'll finish this story. We can stick around a little bit longer. It's our channel. It's our museum. We enjoy hanging out with you guys. Just another excuse for me to hang out with you guys on a cold Saturday night. We'll finish up here. Oh, we didn't, I didn't know what, let me go back. No one. What happened here? Got her so horrified. And guys, we'd like to thank you for hanging out with us for this episode of a, of a Vampirella reading of issue 28, all the way from October 1973. A beautiful cover. You know the routine, guys. Until the next time. God bless. And keep collecting.